butter has come to a boil, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the broccoli in. Now remember, I did season the water with a little bit of salt, not overpowering, just a little bit. So I'm just going to put that much in. I'm going to get my spoon. And I'm going to give it a little stir just to push them under the water a little bit. Now you don't want to leave them in here a little bit, you're just blanching them to get them far cooked. Because, at least for me, when I cook mine again, I'm going to put them in a steamer bag. So they will steam when I cook them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. Again, if you're making these, say, for dinner tonight, you can cook them a little bit more. And then just saute them with some butter and garlic or whatever. But if you're doing freezer like I am, this is perfect. And even for chicken divan or something, I mean, you figure by the time I get them out of the water, they're going to be cooked anyway. Make sure you mix them around in the ice water because you want that cold water to circulate and cool them down quickly. That will help retain their color and obviously stop the cooking process by shocking them. Get in there. There. A couple more. these down and while these are cooling down this water is going to come back up to a boil I'm going to get a sheet pan lined with some paper towels or a towel and I'm going to let these dry out get some of that moisture off before I freeze them because I do not want them soggy all right so here's the broccoli it's just drying on the towel now doesn't it look beautiful it's so colorful so now the broccoli is blanched and cool and dried. So I went ahead and put it in these food saver bags. These are the steaming bags. Love them. So now this is just the plain broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and add a spoonful of this garlic spread. This has garlic, butter, um, pecorino, romano cheese. I'm not going to add any salt just for the fact that I think that this is going to be saltier because of the pecorino and the garlic so i can add salt as needed when we're um, reheating this but i am going to go ahead and add some pepper in so that's what i'm going to do right now okay so now that's done i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the bags and then we can seal them up